Hi. Welcome to this Blender video tutorial entitled Blender Grid, Blender Units, and Scale. Blender is designed primarily as a 3D visualization tool and not as an architectural or engineering modeling tool. For most 3D modelers, in most situations, this means that if an object looks right, it is right. There's generally no need and generally little Blender functionality supporting 3D modeling precision. Now this may take some getting used to, especially if you come from a background of CAD or architectural drafting. The default unit of scale in Blender is called a Blender unit. The dimensions of a Blender unit corresponds to the default X, Y, and Z Blender grid dimensions. By default, Blender units are calculated to one thousandths of a part. For instance, notice that in the right 3D viewport panel that the default cube object is located at 0, 0.000 on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now actually this means that the center point of the cube object is located at 0, 0.000 x, y, and z. Notice that as I move the cube along the x-axis, the x location increases and is calculated to the 1 1,000th part. Here I will stop moving it at a location of about 5 Blender units from the x 0, 0.000 location. Here I will move it about negative 4 Blender units along the y-axis. And here I will move it about 3 Blender units up along the z-axis. Notice that in the XYZ Euler panel, the dimensions of the cube are 2 Blender units by 2 Blender units by 2 Blender units. Here I will increase the width dimension of the cube object to exactly 4 Blender units by clicking on the scale and typing in 4 for the width dimension. Blender units are virtually relative. That is, one Blender unit can be equal to anything you like. Thus, my cube object here can be 4 centimeters wide, or 4 feet wide, or 4 miles wide. I'll scroll, scroll down a bit uh, on the right 3D panel to the View panel. Here are the grid controls. By default, the Blender grid is 16 Blender units by 16 Blender units. It is possible to increase or decrease the size of the Blender grid, however doing so has no effect on the actual dimensions of the Blender unit. I'll increase the grid size to 100 by 100 Blender units. Now Blender does have scale unit controls. Uh, this is located in the Properties Editor under the Scene Context buttons in the Units panel. Here it is possible to set the scale units to reflect either metric or imperial scales. Here I will select the metric scale units. Notice that the X, Y, and Z location has changed to a metric reading and the cube dimensions are now 2 meters by 4 meters by 2 meters. Since Blender units are calculated to the thousandth part, metric units work fairly well in Blender. Here I will adjust the scale to 0 0.10. Notice that the dimensions of the cube are now 20 centimeters by 40 centimeters by 20 centimeters. I will change the scale back to 1 and then select the Imperial Scale. Notice that the X, Y, and Z location and the cube dimensions are described in yards to the thousandth part. This does not make the Imperial Scale very useful. Now about the closest one can come to making it useful is to set the scale to 0 .305 and check mark separate units. Here the dimensions of the cube are 2 feet 15.8 mil by 1 yard 1 foot by 2 feet 15.8 mil. A mil is 1 1,000th of an inch. However, I can change the dimension 2 feet 15.8 mil to 2 feet exactly. But changing the 1 yard 1 foot to 4 feet still results in the dimension noted as 1 yard 1 foot. In truth, using the imperial units as a substitute for blender units is quite impractical.